DJ Mix is a great DJ software, and in this video, I want to show you some of the reasons why I think it is a great DJ app. So let's open the app here, and this app is not free. It is a subscription model. Most DJ apps, uh, pretty much all of them, switched over to the subscription model, which is kind of kind of annoying because you have to pay monthly and you can't just purchase it all at once but it is $9.99 per week, so I am going to subscribe. It's gonna cost me some money to make this video, so please give the video a like. So the first thing is the simple classic layout. Look how nice and clean everything is. It doesn't look like futuristic, or it doesn't look like a game like some other DJ apps, like Cross DJ is kind of like bright colors and looks doesn't really look like the traditional DJing that you would think of, but EDJing Mix has a great layout. So the first feature that makes this app a great professional DJ app is the ability to separate stems. So they call it the Smart EQ. So up here are our features. There's four different buttons. And then now we are in Smart EQs and you could even get four bands or you could get three bands or you could go back to the regular EQs. So here we are in Smart EQs. So I am gonna play the song, I am gonna take out the vocals, take out the instrumentals, and see if this is a good stem separating software compared to DJ Pro and other DJ softwares. They say that you would So it works great. You could, it almost sounds like a regular instrumental or acapella. You don't really hear any fuzziness or anything going on and everything works smoothly. Another great feature of this software is that it has a great selection of streaming services. If you watched any of my videos, you know that I love DJing with streaming services. And in this software, we get Beatport, BeatSource, SoundCloud, and Tidal. And Tidal is my favorite DJ is my favorite streaming service, mostly because of, of the ability to do music video mixing, but this software doesn't have a video mixing mode, but that's okay. Another great feature of this software is the large jog wheels. The bigger the jog wheel is, especially if you're using a touchscreen device to DJ, the more control you're gonna have with your scratches. If it's a small jog wheel, it's gonna be hard to be precise, but these ones are really big. It follows the same style as DJ Pro's classic mode so instead of instead of like traditional jog wheels like you'd see in serato or tractor dj in dj pros classic mode and in edj mix it goes with the uh, old school style so it actually emulates record decks and not like jog wheels so these happen to be really large so make scratching and being precise doing spin backs and stuff like that very easy Great software if you want to get into scratching and turntablism and all you have is a iPad or another device that supports the, the software. Another great feature, which is uh, which is a cool feature that DJ Pro has too, is the, cr is the crossfader effects. It's called Smart Fader. So you can select these different transitions and it will do a transition on you based on moving the crossfader. You don't really have to do anything else. So it syncs it and matches it together. This is great if you're just starting out and you want to go from one song to another and you haven't learned tra ha haven't learned traditional transitions yet. And then you could obviously turn it off and DJ normally. Another great feature is this app has auto mix. So you could start an auto mix and have the software mix it for you. This is another feature that makes DJ Pro good and it is available here. Another great feature is you could pre queue if you have one of these headphone splitters. You could plug it in and be DJing with just your iPad or other device and headphones and actually be able to pre queue one deck, pre queue the other deck. DJing with headphones makes DJing a lot more professional. You could hear what's going on that the crowd doesn't hear, so you can get your mixes down, set your cue points, and be ready to go with your next song. Really cool that it has this feature. You can use controllers with this software. 
So we're going to settings. And then over here, you can connect the DDJ200. That is the only controller that you could use with this software, which is kind of a drawback because there are so many other great controllers. But this is a good, simple controller that you could DJ professionally with. It's a Bluetooth controller, so you're going to have to use the headphone splitter when you are DJing with it if you want to use headphones. I don't know why you can't use other Bluetooth controllers like the Hercules like the Hercules DJ Control Mix or Control Mix Ultra. But for now, we could just use this one controller, which is better than other DJ softwares that don't let you use any controllers at all. Another great feature is the sampler. So the sampler, I just like the way it looks. It's nice and bright, has a nice volume control over here. There's some really cool samples like, oh yeah. Are you ready? And then you could download more. There are a whole bunch of more samples that you could use. And if you want to compare this to DJ Pro's sampler, check out this video about the sampler in DJ Pro.